and welcome back to my corner of the internet. Today's Wednesday, which means we've got another book talk video for you guys. Today's book talk is a collab with a really sweet young YouTuber named Shea Dawkins. I'll be sure to leave her the link to her channel down in the description below. Uh, please go check her out. Tell her that you're from my channel and um, watch her video. So we had been talking and we thought we would do a book video about books that remind us of back to school or fall or something along those lines, just the kind of books that you get that kind of feeling from. And she, I believe, is doing back to school books and I kind of just picked a few books that, um, when I think of them, they just really mean fall to me, whether that's the actual material itself or that that's when I love to read it because I've got so many books that I have reread so many times over and over again and so often I find it's the same time of year that I gravitate towards them. Now this time of year also lends itself greatly to reading scary stories but uh, none of these are that but there will in October be a video coming up dedicated to my favorite scary books so keep an eye out for that. <laughs> So let's just jump into it. I picked three books um, that just fit fall so perfectly for me. The first one is by Alice Hoffman and it's called The Story Sisters. I am such a big fan of Alice Hoffman. Every time I see that she has a new book out, which is fairly often, um, I just, I get so happy. The anticipation of it makes me so happy. A uh, common theme in a lot of her books is she writes about magical realism, I guess would be the best way to describe it. There's always magic in her stories, but it's in a way that, you know, you can almost kind of believe. It's not too fantastical. Um, what really first made me fall in love with her was the film Practical, Ma Practical Magic. Um, I saw that movie when it came out. It stars uh, Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock and their sisters. And... <clears throat> Um, I saw that movie and I loved it. I love stories about sisters and there was just something about that movie that really got to me. So I found the book and I read it and I loved it and then I went and I read everything else of hers I could get my hands on. So this one is from a few years ago. I want to say like 2010, 2011-ish. And again, it's about three sisters. Their names are Elv, Meg, and Claire. Uh, when we first meet them, they're fairly young, like say 12, 14, and 15, and um, something bad happens, something really traumatic happens to one of the sisters that it kind of involves all three of them, and that kind of leads them to spiral into this kind of feeling of needing to be safe and protect themselves. So they create kind of this imaginary world, this kind of underworld where only they can go and they have their own language and they speak it and they become very secretive and um, insular and um, that goes on for years. And then as they get older, Elf, the oldest of the three, she's beautiful and she's mysterious. And as time goes by, she gets more and more destructive in her behaviors. And then it kind of just becomes a story of the other two sisters, their mom and their grandmother, trying to save Elf from herself before it's too late. And it's just, it's a great story. These sisters are so interesting. They're so, their story is so beautiful and heartbreaking. And I just loved it. And whenever I think of this book, I just think of like a big city fall in a big city. That's the image that I kind of get. And I've reread this probably three times now and every time I do it's always in the fall. So check this out if you haven't already. Or any of Alice Hoffman's books. She's great. Practical Magic again being my personal favorite. Next up, and I don't know why this reminds me of fall, because if anything you would think it would remind me of spring but it doesn't. And that is Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. Now, you've probably seen the movie, and if you haven't seen the movie, you at least probably know of the movie and of the character, Holly Golightly, who was played so amazingly and famously by Audrey Hepburn. 
and the book is uh, the movie is fantastic. The there's slight differences though in between the book and the film as there are, especially for the time. Hollywood kind of made Holly Golightly this very quirky, charming, lovable girl who's um, in the know and just you know a lady of the town or whatever. And I mean she's all that, but the book tells shows a much darker side to Holly. Um, she's all those things, but she's also very scared and alone and flawed, and she's just a more real character. So I think if you liked the movie, definitely read the book. Um, this version, it's the 50th anniversary version, which, let me just see here, I believe came out in, I want to say... I don't know. I can't remember. I've had this for a while. I can't remember exactly when this was um, put out. I'm thinking like 2008, 2009 maybe. Um, this version of the book also has a few of Truman's short stories, which I really liked reading. Um, if you're someone who listens to um, audiobooks, which I have never in my life listened to an audiobook, but uh, you know, I can definitely see the benefits to them if you're driving or trying to sleep. But I just read the other day that um, Michael C. Hall narrates this book and that's enough to make me want to listen to it so I might have to give it a try. Anyway, yes, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Definitely recommend. And again, I don't know why it reminds me of fall. And finally, we have My Mistress's Sparrow is Dead. Great love stories from Chekhov to Monroe. This book the stories are so varied. There are so many stories in here and they are so varied. Plus, look at this cover. I, just, I love this cover and I think it's so beautiful. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's a ton of stories in here. And love stories, sure, they're definitely love stories. But they're dark, some of them. And they're messy, almost all of them. And they're, there's just... They're so layered and varied that it's hard to say, it's hard to review a, bo a book of short stories on a good day. But this one is just so varied, it's impossible to, you know, succinctly put into a few words what it's about. But yes, it's a collection of love stories, although they're not your typical love stories. And if you like to read about matters of the heart and the ways that they can destroy and ruin and turn everything upside down, then you would definitely like this. And there's just something about this book that, first of all, some of the stories, like, they'll leave you crying. They will break your heart. Some, not a whole lot, but there's a couple that while I'm reading them, I'm kind of just like, let's, let's cue this up. I wasn't huge fans, but for the most part, I loved every story. And even the ones I wanted to clue up, sometimes it wasn't because they were bad stories, it was because they were painful or uncomfortable. So, but yeah, there's just something about this book that makes me love to reread the stories. I love to curl up on cool nights, maybe with a fire going, a blanket, and just read these stories and have my heart broken all over again because apparently I'm a sucker <laughs> for punishment. So, but yeah, there's so many talented um, writers in here. James Joyce, um, who else? An Anton Chekhov, um, Alice Munro is in there, and she's a longtime favorite of mine. William Trevor, Vladimir Nabokov, who um, is just such a talented, talented writer. So, yes, um, these are my random selections for books that just mean fall to me. So I hope that you enjoyed this and maybe you'll check one of them out and you'll have a good read. And if you want to listen to Breakfast at Tiffany's, Michael C. Hall, you guys, that's, that sounds so good. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys on Friday. And again, don't forget to, to check out Shea's channel. Um, it will be linked in the description below. If you're here from her channel, hello, welcome. I hope you stay a while. And I will talk to you guys again real soon. Bye, guys.